Hello, welcome to another episode of Red Wolf TV. I'm Tim, and today I will be taking you through WE's TT33. And if I said the name any quicker, anybody who has a mental age of a 13 year old would start laughing. The real steel version was originally designed by the Russians and then borrowed by the Chinese, because that's what the Chinese usually do. But that's what neighbors are for. Neighbors borrow things like pots and pans and toasters and design specs for the TT33. It is completely made out of metal with plastic grip paneling, except I wouldn't really call it grip, as it's rather slippery to the touch. It's like holding a bar of soap in the shower stalls. It will easily slip out of your hands and fall on the floor, and we all know what that means. The gun will break, and nobody wants that. So I would suggest wearing a pair of gloves while shooting this. They weigh at about 0.7 kilos, which is 1.5 pounds, and in length, it is 19 and a half cm, which is seven and a half inches. When the real steel version of a TT33 first came out, there were no safety features, and the magazine would usually fall out whilst you're firing, and one would normally find this very annoying and dangerous. WE have designed this safety feature on the left, and you can't find it on the right side. If you pull it back and you're ready to fire, push it down for safe, and pull it back up to fire. The sights and hammer are very realistic. The mag release and the slide lock are only found on the left side. To find the hop up within the slide, one would need to remove the slide. And to remove the slide, you need to remove the teeth on the right side. Put that there. Take out the slide lock. Pull it back and push it forward. And you can find the hop up right here. It comes with one magazine holding 15 rounds. For this test, I'll be using 0.2 grams, 6 millimeter BBs. And remember, gloves. The kick is rather decent, but does it have enough gas to go through one entire magazine and have a slide lock back? We shall see. There is a slight double feeding problem. This is due to the lip of a magazine being a little too wide in combination with the spring being too strong past 12 BBs. For war reenactors, this shouldn't really be an issue as the real steel version uses 8 bullets anyway. And for 100 US dollars, you get a full metal pistol. So I would suggest to use 10 to 12 BBs to solve this double feeding problem. And the slide does lock. WE have done a pretty decent job with the TT-33. It's meant to fire 15 rounds, but it only fires 12, which is all right, but those three shots could prove rather vital. Pulling it back and letting it go is very smooth, and it kicks pretty hard, which is hugely satisfying. So for this cool product and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. There is plenty more where that came from, and if you have missed out some of our previous videos, be sure to check out one of these. Do subscribe to our channel and keep up to date with our newest and coolest videos.